Hi, this is Chris Likeness with GottaBeMobile.com and I'm going to do an initial setup of the HTC HD7 Windows Phone 7 device on T-Mobile. comes out Monday, November the 8th and I got one a little early and I'm going to do the initial setup. This is the initial boot which is pretty quick from a cold start. And here we go. Welcome to your HTC HD 7 Windows Phone. Let's get started. Windows Phone, da da da. Eh, you know, you can look at the terms of use and the privacy statement if you wish, but you know how it goes. Uh, would you like to, how would you like to, your Windows Phone's configured, recommended, or custom? Uh, when I went to Redmond to learn about Windows Phone 7 a little bit, they hope that everybody uses the recommended. So, Central Time, it's already selected. Hit Next. Sign in with Windows Live ID. Okay. I am going to go off camera to do this. Be right back. Okay, there we are. We're all set up. I've got my email, my Windows Live ID email address, and password in. I'm going to hit Sign On and hope that I put the right password. <laughs> I use so many different passwords for so many different services that sometimes, you know. Alright, all done. Have fun. Click on done and pedal. You're all set up. We've got a text. I think that's going to be a text message from, uh, from Windows Phone, and it is. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the start screen, and there you are. This is the T Mobile. HD 7 and this is how it's default configured I can I'm gonna do another video and show how you make some of the customizations and whatnot but in this one I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, set up an email address if you go down here to settings try and do this through a viewfinder here this is really silk by the way if you'll see how quickly that scrolls all right, so we're going to go down here to email and accounts, and you see we've got our Windows Live account already set up. I'm going to add another account. Let's go do a, a Facebook account, and once again, I'm going to pause it. Okay, and we're back. We're still setting up the Facebook email. I put my email address in, password, sign in, and as soon as this connects, we will get all the contacts from Facebook that I have and it will mesh with my Windows Live contacts and in addition to it once it's all done syncing and getting caught up and so forth you will see on the uh, start screen you'll see these oh actually there's Matt Miller and a couple other people I already know they're starting to populate there so I can click on this people hub here and would you like to import four contacts from your SIM card right now? No, I don't think I want to. And you'll see contacts here, my last status update, and what's new, looking for news. That'll take just a second. It'll bring, there we go, there's a feed from my friends on Facebook. And back to there. Okay, so now let's go back into settings again. Oh, and by the way, you can click on this right here, or you can just flick it see that okay um, settings and if you noticed I'm doing this video with the HD7 resting on the box which has a picture of it full size alright let's go back to email and accounts and let's set up another account I'm still syncing my Facebook content I'm probably on, only on an edge connection out here where I live so it's taken a while I do not have Wi-Fi turned on yet so which I should probably do real quick, actually. Now, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue the way we're doing. This is right out of the box, right on the Sailor Network. Okay, so I use Google. I don't. I use Yahoo, but I don't really care to have my Yahoo email going to this phone. I don't use um, Exchange Server anymore, and I don't really care to have an Outlook account set up. Uh, other account, you can bring in other things that you know aren't like Hotmail, Gmail, whatever. Uh, so anyway, I'll click on Google, and I'm going to pause you again and put my info in. Okay, and I'm back. I made a little mistake, and now you see incorrect up there, but I'm going ahead and changed it. 
Uh, one thing to show this keyboard here, uh, if you can see I've got a dot com button like the iPhone there. Another thing, all this setting up here would be much easier if I could just cut and paste my details and go that way. But anyway, so now I have just set up a Google account and now it says it's syncing. Once that is done, you will see this Google Mail pop up. I doubt that I have anything new in there right now because it's late at night. But yeah, so anyway, um, on to a little customization here. Well, let me go back and show you. Um, well, I, I did show you all the different accounts you can set up here. I'm sorry. Uh, so I've got a Facebook, a Google, and a Windows Live account set up. With my Windows Live account, I can set up, uh, or it, it automatically brings my Zoom past content, which uses the same Live ID and my Xbox Live. Let's see if it's already got me on here. That is not my avatar, so I'm not synced with this yet. And I don't know. I already joined Xbox Live to play with your friends. Oh, I've already got an account, so I don't need to do that. Oh, there we go. It, it did already update. That's me right there, if you'll look me up. Oh, well, there's my name right there. Now, here's the thing. Um, some of the things, like if I click on this here, it's probably going to have me to go download a patch to or not a patch but an additional program called uh, Xbox Live Extras to be able to see all this stuff so if I want to look at like my gamer score or whatever it's actually going to a browser right now and then it just loaded up to download this so I'll do that later but what this enables you to do it, it actually and I'll do a whole video on this it actually give some animation to your character and when you go to the award screen it'll make them go hooray some stuff like that so uh, but last thing I wanted to show you um, I'm gonna go back to the start screen here is how to get rid of like I don't care about slacker radio so just hold down on that and unpin it from the start don't care about T-Mobile TV take it off the start really don't care about this family thing but just for all intents and purposes you see I'm gonna move it from here up to here oops I failed from here to here and boom it clears that space there so and you can go into settings here again and we can actually change the theme and I kinda like the dark background and I like this magenta here so we can go back to the home screen and pedal you can see what's happened there oh I just got an email so in just a moment you'll probably see this live tile update with a new email I got because you heard that in the background on my iPhone I think that was so anyway um, you can take I don't know what this is is that a picture oh that's uh, my me okay it was just not updating that was kinda weird so but anyway that is the initial setup here and I did a little quick customization there you can pin uh, all sorts of things to the screen not just applications but web pages uh, contacts like if I wanted to go here and uh, let's see let's find somebody here uh, <laughs> too many people here let's see um, I don't know who to pick here. I don't got to stop flowing through here. Let's just let's find me. Eh, anyway, uh, yeah, let's just do this. All right. Let's see if I can find. Oh, this shows uh my Facebook stuff that I've put up here and what people put up on the wall here. I, I kind of don't want to take you to. Um, through my contacts and because I don't want to risk compromise any of my uh, contacts information there and I'm surprised this hasn't popped up yet huh it doesn't show me with it. it's got a pretty caught up but it doesn't show me with any unread yet so anyway but yes this is the HD 7 and that was the initial setup of Windows Phone 7 with the Live ID, Facebook, and my Google Gmail integration. So, anyway, uh, keep an eye on gottabemobile.com. 
and we'll be sure to share anything else we can come up with for you.